We just tried two techniques to print on black t-shirts. We tried Easy Subly and Printable HTV. One of them didn't work, and we'll show you which one right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do a build and make it? So do we. And we have a new video each week. This week, we're in for a Texas-sized t-shirt tussle. So what that really means is we want to do some sublimation on some dark t-shirts. Now, we did this last summer. We used this easy subly, but we had a lot of viewer comments and questions about, hey, why didn't you use printable HTV? So we thought today we would do a little versus challenge, easy subly versus printable HTV. All on black t-shirts. I have a black t-shirt, she has a black t-shirt, and we're gonna use the same exact image. A little bit about the differences between Easy Subly and Printable HTV. The Easy Subly still uses your sublimation ink printer. So we're gonna use our Epson EcoTank to sublimate on this Easy Subly paper. And the Printable HTV uses simple inkjet printer inks, which I think everybody has an inkjet printer at home. All right, let's print our images and get started. Mine is the Principal HTV, and mine is already looking darker. Yep. My blacks look blacker, and my colors just look color. Well, that's the difference between these printed images, but if you've done any sublimation, you know that these inks look light now, but once we sublimate them, they're super vibrant, and all of the colors come out. Uh, Let's does, see what happens with the printable feel, vinyl. This does feel a little thicker. Yeah, than, that's... Uh, my printable vinyl. Yeah, this is a little this is a little more substantial, this piece of paper here. Right. We'll see. I'm very curious to see how this is going to turn out. I think we should trim it out just to the black. What we've done is just print it straight on an 8.5 by 11. I guess it's A4 size paper. Yeah. And then we're going to hand cut around our image. We could sublimate this whole black square right onto our t-shirt, but I don't want it to leave those square corners. So this image, it works out really well for this. We're gonna cut all the way around our little orange frame here. All right, remember how I said this this stuff, the easy subly felt a little more substantial? Well, the scissors caught the uh, vinyl when I was trying to just glide them down. So I got a little... Maybe a paper trimmer would have been up. good. Yeah. I also found that as I handled this, some of the inks were coming off of my under my fingers, so I don't think you want to touch this too much. A little lesson learned for you. All right, are these going on the front or the back? Oh, I think they should go on the front. I okay. don't know, what do you think? No, I was thinking front too. Yeah, front, let's go front. All right, so we'll start with the easy subly. I have to put this cover sheet over it, which because I've cut it down, it's gonna fit within our little transfer sheet here perfectly. All right, so I take this off right to the clear sheet and put it right over top of it. Can you remove the backer? Uh-huh, mm-hmm. This goes right over top. Oops, still got a little bit crooked. I'm just gonna use our little thing here to make sure it's nice and stuck to the transfer. All right. All right, now I've pulled the backer off of the printed page, have it on my transfer here, and the recommended settings are 311 degrees for 15 seconds. 311, precisely 311? Yeah, it says precisely, but Like, my... don't even come at me with 310. Nope, that's what it says. It said, 312, you're it, going too far, that's it? It literally says, don't even come at me with 310. I'll make sure I'm centered. Does that look about right? No crooked. No crooked. No crooked. No crooked here. All right, down. Get your butcher paper down. Get your parchment paper or your butcher paper in our case, or meat hugger. 
Makes me laugh every time. And start. How many seconds is this one? It is, so what like did I say? 15 seconds. Is that a Ooh, cool? Look at that, look at those right. colors. The blacks came back a little bit. All right, now it says peel it warm. Peel it warm. Well, that's vague. <laughs> Does that feel peel hot? Peel it warm. Ah, not Any yet. <laughs> Ah, not warm yet. All right, nope, I think you're good. Yeah, give a little, let it breathe a little. Warm it down, warm it down. You got to cool it down. Ooh, watch out. Oh my goodness, that looks great. All right, that looks pretty good. All right, I think my, my blacks might be better. Ooh, All right, what are see. the settings for this one? We will see. All right. All right. We're Ooh. gonna show you. Well, I can show you now, but we'll show yeah. you side by side. Look at that. Looking pretty good. I mean, that looks pretty good. Now wait. What? Oh, Garrett did the pre-press. You probably should have pre-pressed. I think the temperature for this is a little bit hotter. It's 374. 374. Isn't that funny? Don't even come at me with 375. 375, you've gone too far. <laughs> what are you doing over there at 375? Get back here at 374. Now, what are you gonna do? It says peel the back off. All right. You do wanna allow this to dry from the inkjet printer. You want the ink to dry for about five minutes before you press it. So this one is dry. What was that transfer sheet we just took off? Oh, I threw it away. It's got ink all over it. Oh. All right. I think we're gonna wanna do 375, the don't tell them. Ooh, 375. You're down. You're good. All right, I guess it's in there. All right, this printable vinyl is definitely thinner. A, little, a lot more delicate than the other is. It's like tissue paper. Yeah, it's like tissue paper. Yes, agreed. It's more like trying to do a water slide. Oh yeah, that takes some practice. A little bit of butcher paper. You want to bring this closer. Keep it on down. I don't have a cord long enough to go way over there. Yeah. All right. Let's now this swap. Is how many? How now, many seconds? Now this is twelve seconds. Sheet. Okay. Yep. All right. We're going in at 374, not 373, not 375. 374 for 12 seconds. Not 13. Not 11. <laughs> I mean, these are both really quick presses. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Uh, now, is this a cold peel? Cool before removing parchment paper. Oh, man. I was too quick on removing the parchment paper. Hey, you know what we learned now? Look at that. You may have to do this one again. No, it's got to cool. You're not even close to being cool. I'm not even sure this is going to work because of the Garrett used a transfer sheet, the vinyl, the clear plastic transfer sheet from the Easy Subly on top of the vinyl. Hmm. Should I just print it again? Yeah, you might have to do it again. All right, we let it cool. I'm gonna try to peel it up. And it's kind of just peeling right off the shirt. Well, if you can get it all off, yeah, you can I might be save able to it. reuse it. Yeah. Let's, whoop. All right. That did not work. All right. I'll just try to line it back up over top of that. Ish, kind of. Hopefully it will cover that up. 
All right, there's just a tiny little bit of residue left, so we're gonna try and salvage the shirt that we messed up. This time we're gonna try Cricut's parchment paper. We're gonna lay it down. And 374, 12 seconds. Shift it around a bit. You know I like to do. Yeah. All right, let's see. All right, that was a quick 12 seconds. Now, we'll let it cool before we remove the parchment paper. Let it cool, cool it down. And that's what it says. Oh, wait one minute for the transfer to cool before removing the pa parchment paper. Alexa, set a one minute timer. Look, we're all learning something today. <laughs> <laughs> that I'm impatient. That we knew. Alexa, how much time is left on my timer? Seconds left on your one minute timer. Count it down. She's counting it real slow. <laughs> Cut out the Mississippis. <laughs> that was a long one minute. All right. So it's nice and warm now, isn't that what they the said? the longest minute ever. I mean, just do it. You should be able to reuse it again. All right, do I try it again? All right, what do you guys think? <laughs> Which one turned out better? <laughs> I don't understand what happened to mine twice now. Hmm. Mm. Mm. All right, we're gonna try this one more time. Third time's the charm. All right, parchment knee. Final down, our parchment down. All right, we're gonna try to go in a little bit longer. We're gonna go 350 for 30 seconds this time. And high pressure, so I'm high gonna pressure. pull this closer. I want you to lean on no, it. No, lean on bit. it. All right, high pressure, 30 seconds. I'm in. Now, now I get to lean on it. Huh? Yeah, he loves leaning on it anyway. It gives me something to do. I feel like I'm. Uh, Helping the, the process, yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, fingers crossed. Other than this, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what would be the difference. It's still a quick right. 30 seconds. Now do we it said still do to wait. it? It said to wait, so. A cool. Mm -hmm. I, don't think it, I don't think it worked. Are you ready for the pull? I'm ready. Do it this way. All right, I'm able to get the image right off the shirt again. You know what though, it's coming off easier. Well, you gotta, yeah, see if you can get it all the way off. So what does that mean? I don't know. What are we doing wrong? What did I do wrong? <laughs> I don't understand. I got a lot of lint off of the shirt. This was a great way to get the lint off the shirt. Well, you can't win them all. This will be a project fail video. Well, <clears throat> semi-fail. Half of it worked great. Yeah, that worked great. And it, I thought that Printable HTV would uh, be the winner in the end. But, uh, <laughs> no, I don't understand. Why didn't it work? Can you tell me why my printable HTV did not work? <laughs> did I use the wrong parchment paper? Did I use the wrong transfer paper? Did I use the wrong heat, <laughs> time, pressure? Way too many variables. I don't even know what I did wrong. But I do know we're about out of time. So if you're not going to join us for the patron after show, we will see you next week where we'll do it, build it, and make it again. I, I'm done. Third time. Three strikes. I'm out. I'm out of here. <laughs>